everyone. Welcome to the first. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Ling and welcome to my cabin Q&A. Um, I posted on Instagram uh, asking you guys to send in questions about anything that you want and I thought it'd be really fun to make a Q&A answering your guys' questions. And I feel a bit nervy. It's been a while since interviews and I don't I know what to do. Okay, so I have sectioned the questions off into Street Woman Fighter 2 questions and personal questions. I'll leave the timestamps down below so you can click to uh, whichever one you're interested in, I suppose. Let's get into it, guys. My goodness. Street Woman Fighter 2 questions. Who were you close to during Street Woman Fighter outside of Jam Republic? I really love JJ. <laughs> I got to know her a little bit um, during the position mission and she could speak some English and I was trying to speak some Korean and I found her extremely outgoing and easy to talk to and not to mention extremely funny. Ah, super kill, of course. I had no one knew Maddie prior prior to the show because I was friends with her brother Ricky. And so um, seeing her on the show was like a, re a reunion for us um, over like how it, like five years or something since pre COVID. So that was super cool. I got closer to Akanen, not during the show, but more so after the show. She's just the like coolest, most humble, most lovely person. Um, quite different to my first impressions of her because you know she's so she, the way she dances is so cool I found her like a little bit intimidating but she actually turned out to be literally the sweetest person I love you Akanencha oh my gosh I love Yimi I love Yimi Cho from Wolf Flow uh, we had really cute conversations when again she was you know she could speak very good English very smart smarticle particle um, and we would be talking, yeah, just behind the scenes and I found her very down to earth and just overall great person and I love that she loves to connect with everyone, you know? That's it. Oh my gosh, I am not killing this Q&A. <laughs> this isn't actually going too badly. Okay. Did you ever break down during Street Woman Fighter 2? What were the main hurdles of the experience? Break down in terms of something I was going through myself during the show? No, but I do tend to, I guess, cry a bit more easily when I see other people cry, but not when it comes to my own problems. The main hurdles probably is the intense filming schedules. We had two separate days where we were on set for 24 hours and being awake for that long really does something to you. <laughs> when you don't get enough sleep, it literally feels as if you are intoxicated. And that could not be more true. I have no memories of those two days. What's the most fun thing that you did while you were in Korea? Well, the most fun thing was definitely when we went to Latte World. Oh my gosh, it's the best amusement park ever. Um, I've never ever been to Disneyland, so I don't have a comparison, but Latte World was so dreamy to me. Even like the indoor area with um, this castle looking like thing and like, it was really cool. That was definitely the best day that um, the girls and I had in Korea so far was the day with for um, Worldwide Vlog. Worldwide Vlog. Keep your eyes peeled. It's coming out 4th of December. Street Woman Fighter 2 related, if you'll be adding the 6th member of Gem Republic, who would it be and why? Okay, this is this is whoever I get to pick, right? I'm sure the other girls have different answers, but for me, I would like to pick... Oh, it's so hard. Akana-chan or Yumeri-chan? I love them both so much, so... One of you two. Maybe both. I combine them both as one person. We bring them into Gem Republic. You know what? No, we, we need to add two members because to have six members is off, you know? There's gotta be two back centers, whereas if we have seven, with a Kanan and Yumecha, seven. How's Mr. Smith? Oh, let me go grab him for you. He's actually right here, looking out into nature. Hello. Hello. He's doing very well, thank you for asking. Okay. What's more nerve-wracking, Street Woman Fighter 2 or performing with Rihanna? Performing with Rihanna. 
when will you all be linking up again? Uh, the 26th of November is when me and Emerson fly to join the girls in Korea. What's the story behind the nickname Bonnie? Mm. What is the story? I was actually talking about this with Bonds the other day. We were like, where do we even, where do we even do, where do we even, how do we even come up with this? I think what happened was, oh, um, so me, Bonnie, our friend Jono and our friend Justice, we have a group called the Rubbers and we each have like an animal associated with our person. So Jono is a bear, Justice is a fox and me and Chris are both bunnies because well, we're both just so bunny like, you know? And so we called each other, I think, bunny, 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 bunny for a while. And then when we were in America, pretty sure, when we were in, in America, um, Bonnie actually started this. So she was saying bunny with an accent like Bonnie, Bonnie. And then it just, it just stuck. And now we're both Bonnies. So there you go. Did you receive bucket hats from Korean Jammies when we gave dinner boxes? Yes, we did. Thank you so much. Um, mine's tucked away safely in Korea. When I go back, I'll definitely be wearing my navy bucket hat. Thank you so much. Um, Korean jammies, you guys are just, you guys are just the best. It was honestly so touching. The effort and the thought behind everything that you guys put together was just, was just, oh, I can't even, I can't even use words to explain it, honestly. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. Besides Hwasa, are there any other female K-pop artists you would have liked to work with? Oh my goodness, I, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I would have loved to work with Hyona. Love Jessie, Jessie is a bad ass. CL, of course, oh my gosh. Mother CL, I would have died. When Bonnie got a dance with CL at Mama, I legitimately was crying. A K-pop fan of me was just crying, crying, crying. I just, I died, I died. That was iconic. How far apart were the global performance and the end credit performance? Different hairstyles in both. Great observation skills. They were one day apart, so we filmed um, Beyonce, the opening dance, and the position mission dance on the day before final stay. And then on final stay, we just had to do our ending credits dance and perform position mission for the live audience there. What do you want to say to all of the jammies, all of the world, we love you. Oh, we love you guys so, so much, honestly. It's like, it's really overwhelming to think about the love that you guys have for us. Um, it only motivates us to give the best and um, show up for you guys. So thank you so much for supporting and sticking with us throughout the whole journey, whether you were there from the start or whether you came later on. Thank you guys. and. We hope to keep making you guys proud. Your favorite picture with your crew. She'll put it right here. Ding. Any chance for Jam Republic to come here in the Philippines to meet and greet? Absolutely, yes. Um, we do. I can't say exactly when, because our management is in charge of that, but we do have plans to come to Philippines in 2024. Will the Street Mill Fighter Jam Republic stay as a group? I sure hope so, because I already have separation anxiety from the girls. How has life been post Street Woman Fighter 2? Well, as you guys know, straight after finishing, uh, we filmed the worldwide vlog, and then the night we finished worldwide vlog at 5 a.m., I had my first um, uni exam online. I slept 45 minutes for that exam because I was just so excited about world worldwide vlog. It was such a good day. You know, when you have a good day, you can't sleep. That was me, so I couldn't sleep. Got 45 minutes of sleep before um, doing the exam. Surely I passed. We shall find out. And then coming back to New Zealand, it was straight into, I guess, prepping for my last two exams. So I haven't really had time to breathe until now. Like coming here to this cabin has just been a godsend. That has been life post Super Fighter 2 so far. <laughs> I heard that you were the main reason why Kirsten went into Street Woman Fighter. Why did you want to go? Very good question. Um, many reasons why. 
First of all, I love like Korean culture in general. So I was always like a fan of K-pop since back in the high school days. And I love watching Korean dramas and I love Korean food. And I was like, what more could I want? That and also because um, I knew that to do the show, I had to battle, right? And I had been feeling quite stagnant in dance for a while. And, um, you know, freestyling is something that I've always, you know, wanted to do, but had I pushed myself to do it? No. And so I thought, you know what, it's now or never. I wanted to be pushed outside my comfort zone. And I think doing the show was definitely going to do that, um, as well as it would have been so fun to do it with my body. So many reasons why I wanted to do the show. If you could redo your first freestyle battle, what would you have done differently? God, so much guys. I would have done so much differently. Um, the thing with freestyle, well, I guess the thing with being a beginner freestyler, not even a beginner bachelor, but a beginner freestyler. Like I tell you, before the show, I did not freestyle. I had some major mental blocks where like, you know how they're like, for the first step of freestyling, you have to be comfortable to freestyle by yourself in your own room. I like could not do that and so this was a huge like discomfort zone for me um, and even though I tried to prepare for it by practicing taking some battle privates from Rena <laughs> you're not you yeah you can only be so prepared for something you've never experienced before so for my first freestyle battle, I would have first of all uh, told the girls that I was going to go back to them and lean on them but then I didn't know I was going to do that. So I, I guess I could have just thought about it more in advance, you know. I think a lot of bachelors have certain things that they like kind of practice and pull out just in case. So I think I could have maybe carefully planned what those things would have been for me. Um, if they involved the team to tell the team about it, like, hey, if I give you this signal, we're going to do this. Um, I think also with the commercial song that I got, I wasn't able to break out of what I would naturally do to the song and so what I would have done differently is try to um, hit the different musicality parts of the song and done different styles like instead of being so girly and feminine the whole time I would have changed characters and changed styles um, and actually done a bit more dancing guys she was not dancing in that freestyle but it's okay it's all an experience Oh, Jam only had 13 hours of finals. How did you guys get your amazing costumes? Uh, we found out what the mission was and then we had about two weeks to put together the two pieces. Even though the Jam girls were separated, we still could, um, you know, call each other. We could start planning. So we planned all of like the costuming stuff, the songs and all of that stuff. But in terms of coming out with choreography together, we only had 13 hours for both of those dances. So even coming back to Korea, we had two days in Korea, but even on the first day, we had to do a lot of behind the um, scenes shooting for the show, and we couldn't get started on the actual curry till like, I think 5 p.m. in the afternoon, finished at nine, and then the next day, we had some music mixing stuff going on and didn't start on choreography until again like one or two till whatever so we calculated it to be literally 13 hours of actually doing choreography yeah is there more jam republic content coming soon you bet you bet a short story about your first day street one fighter 2 please oh my gosh okay so that scene where we all saw the crows for the first time right us walking down the stairs and like looking at the screen and seeing all the different crews sitting we were the last crew to enter and um, I kid you not, like, I was giving, like, gonna vomit vibes. I was so nervous and shaky. And, like, I was trying so hard to maintain my cool, but I could just feel myself trembling, like, down the stairs, trembling to, to the seat, sitting there and just, like, trying hard not to tremble like this. Um, yeah, so she was nervous, man. How did you meet Latrice? Ah, my Lala. I met her um, at Timor Gala in China in 2018. Yes, in 2018. I met her and her brother Shasha. Um, I actually talked to Shasha way more. I think uh, Lala was quite shy and Shasha and I were doing most of the talking, but that was when I first met her. And then we got to know each other better, I think the following year. And we met again at, T at Timor Gala. That was how we met. <laughs> 
What was your favorite challenge on Street Wing Fighter 2? I have three. I really like K-pop um, deathmatch mission because it was the first time that we were dancing together as a group to create something. Also liked the Hwasa choreography challenge because obviously it was for Hwasa. That was super, super cool. And third, the global mission of being able to create a Beyonce medley. Oh, come on. That was... I can't wait to do it for tour. Favorite moment that made you cry when filming Street Room Fighter 2? Supporting from South Africa. Love you. Oh, thank you so much. Love you right back. Definitely when we were surprised with our family's messages. Um, that hit very hard. Don't think about it. We'll start crying again. Okay. Did you expect JR to be in the top four? I would say for the show, you never have any expectations. When you think you do terribly, you do all right. And when you think you did great, you didn't do too good. <laughs> so um, I think, of course, I wanted us to be in the top four, but I just never thought it was a guarantee. Nothing's ever a guarantee. Did you ever fight with the girls during the shooting of Street Fighter 2? No. I'm very proud to answer this one. The, the bond of the sisterhood is strong. We had other problems, but we never had problems within ourselves. Oh, if you can steal someone's dance skills in Street Fighter, Fighter, who would it be? I would steal Yumini Chan's amazing cyborg skills. How she can just flip, 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 do all these tricks, um, dance a million times and just not even be tired. Yeah, I would definitely steal those skills, please. Thank you, Yumini Chan. They said you're the oldest in general public group. May I ask what is your age? My age is 27 years young. Wow, that was all the Super Fighter 2 questions. Let's take a break.